Uh, so let's have a look at what One News said about the coalition talks today and where in the world is Carmen Winston Peters at the moment. Despite the National and ACT leaders waiting patiently in the capital, Winston Peters was nowhere to be found, wheeling and dealing from Auckland instead. This time a month ago, Christopher Luxon was writing his victory speech for election night. Today he's still searching for the wording for his coalition deal. Political editor Jessica Much Mackay has the latest. The mundane comings and goings of politicians are never more closely monitored than during coalition talks. The Prime Minister-elect trying to remain upbeat despite being in political no-man's land. How are the negotiations going? Oh, look, we've made great progress, but this week's an important one. Uh, we've got issues to close out uh, with both parties, and we're going to work our way through that. One issue all three leaders are yet to get in the same room, despite hoping today was the day. What a look, piss that, take. That's disgusting. I mean, it's disgusting based on um, Christopher Luxon's absolute uh, disparaging, mocking diatribes around how long the vote count was taking. So to be taking this long to even, I'm not even talking about getting a conclusion, but mm. even getting in the same room based on his own standards is an abomination. Based on my standards, I'm like, ah, oh, it takes a few extra days, no big deal. But based on his standards is an abomination, yet he won't own it. He will not own it. <sighs> Our intention is to continue to progress our conversations with each individual party and then actually uh, bring everybody together. So we're narrowing the range of issues that we need to agree on so we can have a stable and united government and uh, that work will continue this week, hopefully quickly. The trouble is the other player in the coalition trinity was nowhere to be found, leaving it to his poetic deputy. At the appointed hour, um, the Which man is, will arrive. What, what's the appointed hour? Pardon? No, we'll just have to tie ho, tie ho. <laughs> He's no, not fucking Gandalf. Work, work is happening despite the physical absence at the moment of our rangatira. Instead of a whirlwind of world leader meetings in San Francisco, Christopher Luxon is grounded, cancelling his flights today and announcing outgoing Trade Minister Damien O'Connor will get the glory instead. Are you gutted not to be going to AP? Oh, look, it would have been nice, but the reality is this is more important. You know, it's important we form a strong, stable government for New Zealanders, and that's what we're going to do. Taking longer than you thought? Uh, no, but, you know, just, it's, it is what uh, it is, and we'll take as much time as oh, it takes. Oh, right. look, it's another day. It's another day of negotiations. From lunch breaks... Uh, kia ora, kia ora. No, we filled up the puku. Uh, I'm getting, getting some lunch. ...to coffee runs. Is that for Winston Peters? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen him today? For this one's for me, and this one's for Nicola Willis. Christopher Lightson doesn't drink coffee, so no coffee for Christopher Lightson. It's all getting a bit ridiculous. I appreciate it's taking a bit more time, but this week we'll make some good progress. This week, he says, and so we wait. And there's been an update this afternoon, Jess. What can you tell us? Christopher Bishop. I understand that coalition negotiators are now arguing over words and phrases. So we're really into the nitty gritty of that document. I wonder if any of those words or phrases include the three words foreign buyers but are tax. I wonder if those are any of the three words that are being argued over. Winston Peters was in Auckland today, but he spoke on the phone several times to Christopher Luxon to try and thrash out the deal. I'm told that the three leaders will meet tomorrow for the first time in person, although it's not confirmed whether it will be in Wellington or in Auckland. In terms of timing of a coalition deal, I'm told by insiders that there's still a bit of water to go under the bridge yet. Once that meeting takes place tomorrow, between the three leaders, then we will have to have that agreement actually dotted the I's and cross the T's and all of the parties agree. Then that document will go out separately to the party boards, but there is still a possibility that we will get a deal by the end of this week. Uh, I don't. I mean, maybe. I mean, if they are just talking about the crossing the T's and dotting the I's, it could also mean it's quite close. I'll play the second, the, the News Hub story shortly, but what what are your initial thoughts, Chewie? Ah, well, I, I think that this just shines a light on what an absolute rookie amateur Luxon is. Going into any sort of negotiation with Winston, making broad promises of well, we're going to crack on and we're going to get this solved and all of that sort of thing, Winston's going to be sitting there going, okay, so time is my my biggest ally here. If I can yep. drag this out, yep. um, then, then that's going to count. Now, I noticed a comment there that we, we have somehow missed the point that this isn't the longest treaty, uh, not treaty, 
um, the longest coalition negotiation ever. That's not what we're talking about. We're, negotiations happen as long as they take, as Luxon did say. But the thing was, Luxon said beforehand that he was going to crack on and this was going to be no no problem and everyone's on the same page and Winston, you know, he doesn't know Winston, but he knows that Winston uh, is going to just bend the knee real quick. Everybody that follows politics knows that that wasn't going to happen. Yeah. And that, yeah. and his bitching about counting the special votes has been the, the big thing that was holding up the, uh, the, the transfer of power and the forming of a government. Absolute bullshit. We know he wants to go to APEC. And, um, and again, that he, he showed his belly to Winston. He showed him all of the pressure points where Winston can, can, you know, there's a lot of things that I think Winston's not great at. But being a tough negotiator and an absolute menace, a agent of chaos in any sort of negotiation, that is Winston's wheelhouse. Um, he lives there. He built he it. Man, the things that he aren't uh, is not that good at. One of them might be passing a healthy stool. I don't think he'd be very good at that. Um, there'd be some other things as well. But look, I I just think that it's very. Uh, here's why they might get through an agreement quite quickly. Now, I firmly believe Winston was making a point with mm. this. Tover O'Brien wrote about it this morning, I think. But we talked about this in the last few days. Is that as soon as uh, Christopher Luxon said got to get to APEC, got to open up New Zealand for business. Winston yeah, made, yeah, yeah. ah, do you, sunshine? Oh, All right. really? So why don't we just hold this up for a little while and then you won't be able to get there and then you'll look foolish. And that's what's now coming out in the press quite a lot, you know, the inexperience of Luxon that this is causing. You, you just you just brought out the thing again about, you know, um, I don't even know him. We said this yesterday. I tweeted this yesterday in the afternoon. I don't even know. He doesn't even go here, Pat. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't <laughs> even know that? Winston Peters. And, and the way he's run this is evident of that. We talked about that last night. I see Tova wrote about that again today as well. I wonder if she has listened to us, Joey. Um, But it's very evident that he doesn't know Winston Peters because this is not how you treat Winston Peters. Love him or hate him. Winston Peters will force you to bend the knee to him if you need him. Now, it sounds pretty horrible, but that's how he operates. Luxon hasn't hasn't bent the knee because Luxon's come in like a CEO and, and he's treating this like a business merger, right? We've got to merge these businesses together. We've got to make sure everybody wins and this and that, and I'm going to win and you're going to win. And Winston's just going, nah, I'll, I'll just bide my time and then I'll make sure that we win by 60% and you get 40% because you need me. Mr. Luxon. Politics is not business. And this is why Luxon's a rookie. The the rules are different. The players are different. The objectives are completely different. You can't yep. run a country like a business. You can't run a government like a business. You can't run a political party like a, a business. And you can't run a coalition negotiation like it's a business merger. Yeah, It just doesn't work like that. So what and he's been showing his the whole, whole ass and and, yeah. and failing for this. So what he's been promising it's, the whole time is to basically because of his business experience, as we've been saying for six months, will mean nothing when you get into these kinds of negotiations. Mm. But let's have a look at the yeah. uh, News Hub take on this, um, which is a lot of the similar information. But you know, it's interesting just to get a couple of takes to make sure we're right up to play with where they're at. Into Windy Wellington they landed, one. We've got a great week ahead of us, we're going to make some progress. Two. I don't think anyone's in a position to say that they're certain when this finishes because there's three different people and everyone says they want it to go faster, <laughs> I certainly do. But two spent the whole day waiting for three. The threesome is going to happen today. Um, wow. <laughs> well, I, 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 I think there may well be a, a meeting of three, yes. The New Zealand First Caucus gathered. So, so that goes to show Winston neutering. So this morning, David Seymour was saying, yes, I think the three of us will get together today. And Winston went, not today, sunshine. I will just get there when I'm there. You you, you two young fellas will wait for me on bended knee. And when I get there, then we'll meet. So you can just go to Winston's, show even. Winston's going to ride his horse up the steps of Parliament rather than tractor. turn up at Wellington Airport. All right, we'll get to the end of this, shall we? No public sign of their chief. He was playing the ultimate game of hide and seek. Howdy, folks. Where's the boss? Ah, uh, no, we're uh, on our way to 
to have a group solidarity lunch. Without the boss? Uh, no, well, uh, those discussions are still well and truly underway. As is it true you guys are in an impasse to mark with negotiations? No. His team either out of the loop no. or in on the game. <laughs> Come on, Jonesy, you must know if Winston's here. Yeah. I'm told that uh, David and uh, Mr Luxon are here. This is not a case of two out of three ain't bad. Ultimately, three have to agree, uh, and everyone can get into the blame Consent game of saying, well, you know, it's, it's those guys. I think it's fair to say that each party has issues that the other one doesn't like so much, and I think each party knows that they're going to have to come to a compromise. But compromise is not a quick trick. Christopher Luxon had to finally fold on his... Yeah, but we were told it was. This is the thing. Compromise is not a quick trick, but we're, we've been told all the way through that Luxon would be on to this and that he's a master negotiator and a master debater. We think that as well. Um, and that this will be an easy job. So so for, so for Dylan Lynch to say now, but you know, it's not a quick trip. Why aren't you saying the, the rest of the sentence out loud, which we were promised it would be? That's actually one of the important parts about this conversation. And our poor, poor old, our new hairless leader doesn't get to go off to APEC and get a shirt. Oh. Is target of flying to San Francisco for APEC. Is this starting to get embarrassing for you? Oh, we're having, we made great progress. We're going to get going. In this Why don't you have a deal? Oh, no, no, no. Good to see you. Take care. Nationals tax policy is sticking point for everyone. Hello. Do you reckon you're going to be able to get this tax issue resolved this week? Uh, look, I certainly hope so. News Hub understands both ACT and New Zealand First were unhappy with being lowballed by National. National and Christopher Luxon overestimated their ability to get a deal. Um, look, I, I think if you look at the way that it's played out, uh, it's starting to take longer than people had expected. If, you know, some people want a fast deal. I think it's more important to get a good deal. And as I've said, but only one of those partners was happy enough to fly in to meet National. There you go. There's your stories, people. And I have got actually, uh, if you're interested, Joey, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up. I've also got the sort of 90 seconds of it's not even it's 90 seconds of that stand up with uh, Seymour at the airport. Um, because you, you know how Luxon's, I will play this, Luxon's been telling us we don't do these negotiations in front of the camera, we don't. Well, loose lips and all that. Uh, Mr Seymour, as we've been saying, uh, a bit more keen to share his views on how the negotiations are going. Is Christopher Luxon going to get his foreign buyers tax? Um, look, I think ultimately ACT is not opposed to that. Um, however, I understand from some media reporting that New Zealand First may be. I guess at the end you've got to have three parties prepared to sign up to a program that's coherent uh, because the challenges that New Zealand faces from the outside, just balancing a budget, difficult geopolitical situation, those are going to be much greater than any challenges within the government. Are you feeling certain? So he's confirmed in front of the cameras that Winston Peters is the sticking point for the ban, and we all knew that, but Luxon refused mm. to, but but Seymour's just done it. And that you'll get a deal done by the end of the week? Um, look, I don't think anyone's in a position to say that they're certain when this finishes because there's three different people and everyone says they want it to go faster. I certainly do. I think a lot of people uh, watching and listening would love to see this be got on with. Uh, but equally, uh, no one person can decide um, how a negotiation between three ends or when it ends. Do you see there's any one person, one particular person, holding up the negotiations? Uh, no, I don't, because ultimately three have to agree uh, and everyone can get into the blame game of saying, well, you know, it's, it's those guys. I think it's fair to say that each party has issues that the other one doesn't like so much, and I think each party knows that they're going to have to come to a compromise. Uh, our, our hope is that it happens as rapidly as possible. You three musketeers will get around the table today? Um, well, it's a new title. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Any time. Um, look, I, I, I think that that's very possible. We're certainly uh, very happy to meet uh, anyone, anytime. Um, and we're all in Wellington now. So that Let's see, hear this. We're all in Wellington now. They weren't. It'll get happened today. It didn't. So it'd be interesting to know, he said in this interview, which was this morning off the plane, uh, you know, is any one person holding this up more than the others? He said no. I wonder what he'd say this evening, seeing Winston didn't bother to join them. That's got to make it easier. To, you, to, use, soon, to use your language that you used last night, so the threesome is going to happen today. Um, well, I, 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 I think there may well be a, a meeting of three, yes. So there you go. I all love right. him getting all flustered over the term threesome. <laughs> Fantastic. There you go. There's the situation at the moment. Um, you know, uh, the the coalition of cookers, the coalition of parents, 
uh, the Alliance of Arsehole, as Bomber calls them. They, they came up with the term themselves, and it applies. It's the Coalition of Chaos. Yep, It's, it's the, just uh, not the one that they thought it was. It's projecting, it's yeah? Yeah, it's, it's absolutely projection. It's always projection. Um, yeah, look, I, 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 I kind of have the feeling that making Luxon miss Apex is... That, that's the one that stung. That's really going to take the wind out of Lux and Sales. And I think now that that's done, Winston will come in and pretend that, that, that he had nothing to do with that. And he's always been cooperating. I And, and I think if you've got two governments that are like hard-pressed on austerity, I don't think Winston's ever been about austerity. He certainly, as you've said, he's going to be against the foreign, foreign buyers because that's mm -hmm. always been his, his issue. He's going to be against any change in the retirement age. Yep, which is something that that I agree with. Whether they, whether he will go further and go, well, we need to find a way to fund it, uh, or not. But those those are going to be some real sticking points. I I can't see him budging on, yeah. on those two points. I can neither see him budging or wearing budgie smugglers. Neither of those things. From oh, Mr. that's unpleasant. Maybe he just I, didn't make it to Wellington because he couldn't find his, you know, he, he, he had his house slippers, but he couldn't find his shoes. I just he lost his car myself, keys, his tickets. I got I to gotta do that now. I have to do it. I have, I'm sorry. Uh, my AI generator, AI generator. What's the pain is looking for his house slippers? No, and budgie smugglers. I'll see what comes up. I wonder what it will be. Anyway, uh, any chats up there? There's a couple of super chats. Do you want to throw them out? Uh, yep. What do we got here? Um, Dave Monster with the $2 super chat. Thank you very much. I love that Winston is making him look so foolish. Um, I kind of agree with that. Look, I, I'm not a big fan of Winston coming back into the house. I, I'm not. I'd much rather he was gone, especially with the rhetoric that, that he was leading with in the, the run-up to the election. But the silver lining to this is that he is is doing what Winston does and just being a complete agent of chaos and and is, is making um, Luxo Flakes just eat his words. And that's, that's fucking, that's, that's a little bit worth it. It's a little bit worth it right now. Um... Oh, why have you done? Why are they so ill fitting? Why, <laughs> what is that body? Oh, the, the prompt is uh, New Zealand politician Winston Peters and Speedos. That's what AI generated for us. That's unpleasant. 